Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Conquering Dreams with your host, C.B. Baker. Uh, today's podcast episode, um, basically, I'm going to cover something I've been really studying on and talking with uh, my pastor, which is on another podcast of Everyday Strong about, which is the ego. And I started seeing people do things that was like counterintuitive to what they really wanted to get out of life. So I thought about myself and before I approach other people with this that I'm mentoring, I think about myself first and am I doing some of the similar things that they are doing? And of course, I found out that I was. So um, I went and looked into the ego OK, and if you've um, ever seen this movie called Revolver, I I highly suggest you check it out. It's kind of confusing, but the whole movie premise is based on your ego and how con men use egos to con you out of your money. You know, so but your ego will have you thinking something is completely um it's completely false. Like your ego will take a situation and make it be about you when it has nothing to do about you or it'll make a situation in your head like really worse. So, you know, I had um, I was talking with my pastor and we was talking about, you know, seeking within, seeking God's voice inside you and you know, whatnot. So, and I know this is not a religious podcast, but everybody would admit that you have some type of thing inside you that will say, okay, do this or do that. Right. But we talked about knowing the difference between (laughs) the good news that you would get from yourself or from God. And then what is the ego? Right. And when the the difference between when the ego is telling you something. So, I really wanted to hone in on that. Now, he, uh, my pastor, he would say, if you study the Bible and you understand what God's purpose is, then you know the difference between when the ego is talking and when God's talking to you. Right. So, okay, I got it. But how often can you really think in any given any given situation in life throughout your day where you're thinking, you know what, let me hold up and pause this moment and see if what I'm thinking is the right thing that's going on or is it it the ego that's talking, right? But your ego definitely will step into place. So through my studies and everything, there's other philosophers out there that will talk about the the, e- the good part of the ego, because ego did come out of an era of it, it did get developed in your brain due to protect you. OK, so if you think about most of the times when your ego gets involved, that negative story that your ego is telling you or that you're telling yourself is usually to protect you. You know, don't wear that because um, you're going to look fat. So that's your ego saying, hey, I don't want you to look fat, so don't wear that particular item, right? Whether or not anybody else even notices that you look fat in this outfit. Like, how many times have you said, how do I look in this? And people are like, yeah, you look fine. But in your head, you're like, I feel, I don't feel fine. I don't, I don't feel like I look my best. That, my friend, is your ego talking to you. If you call somebody on the phone and they don't hit you right back and you don't know the reason why, let your ego take over and see what happens. By the time 30 minutes hit and they haven't called you back, you've had them doing everything underneath the sun before they called you back. Right. So now whether or not that's true or not, you don't know. And that's one thing I want to tell people is tell you is that how to combat the ego is dealing with the facts. Okay, 
we deal with the facts, then a lot of things get straightened out like almost immediately. Okay. Okay. So let's say you're running a business and, you know, most CEOs and business owners are very paranoid. Like that's the reason why the, you know, the ones that are successful, they're paranoid because they're th- and they're paranoid is the reason why they're successful, because they've thought of every scenario that could happen. And they've put parameters in place in order to help them survive those things that happen. But now what most CEOs or owners of a business won't tell you is like 90 percent of the stuff that we think about doesn't happen. But the 10 percent that did happen that we was prepared for, it helped us stay in business. So that's why I said some parts of the ego is good now. But here's the thing. If you're sitting and you're thinking about, oh, this employee is is going to try to take me down and this blah, 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 then if you continually think about that, what you focus on is what you get. Right. And let's think about this. <laughs> A whole entire department basically was created in business due to people's ego. And you know what that department is? It's HR. Think about it. HR was created for people to handle people's egos. Somebody says something to me or we're fussing and fighting. It's two egos clashing together. If the two people actually talk to one another, they would end up like this and not clashing. But then you got to go to HR and, you know, there's other other things that HR handles like payroll and things like that. But you understand my point. In business, your ego can save you, but it can also get you in some major trouble. It can have you as a business owner or a leader or a manager fire somebody who really didn't need to be fired. Or it could have you keep somebody who needed to be fired. That's the reason why you got to deal with just the facts. When you deal with the facts, then you're straight. (laughs) Okay, you know, um, in sports, right, we always talk about, you know, the eye in the sky don't lie. And stats don't lie. Right. Numbers never lie. Right. Now, on the numbers thing, they kind of don't tell the whole truth. Right. But the eye in the sky, which is video of the, the tape of the game and what you did in your performance, that does not lie. So you could tell a player that you're doing great, but if you look at the film and they're doing horrible, They're not doing good. You're just trying to protect your ego and his ego. Right. You know, we could get into that about Eli Manning and and the New York Giants, but we're not. This is not a sports podcast, but you understand what I'm saying. You have to understand the eye of the sky don't lie and numbers usually don't lie. So that's how you handle the ego. You deal with just facts and what I mean, handling the ego, I'm not really talking about yourself, your ego, right? Because you can actually check your own ego. I'm talking about everybody else's ego. And once you realize how hard it is to check your own ego, then you understand there's zero chance that you could check somebody else's ego. So therefore, all you got to do, all you can do is put Parameters in place where only the facts are dealt with. Okay, somebody comes over your house, you had a house party and they gossiping about somebody. What's the facts of the situation? Is this could it be true? Is it not true? You say, hey, did you see them do X, Y and Z? Or did you just hear that they did X, Y and Z? All right. So if you just heard, I mean, I don't My ego wants to get deep into it. And I have to admit that I get into it, too. Sometimes you'll get you'll slip up. But if you check your ego, you'd be like, you know what? I don't need to hear about somebody else's downfall in order to feel better about myself. Because essentially, that's really what kind of like what gossiping is, is that right? So 
I just really wanted to just, you know, it was just sitting on me. I said, you know, I need to do a podcast real quick on ego and how it affects um, people and how it will affect you, you know, uh, in your everyday life that you don't really realize, you know, um, like I made another, I made, did another podcast and, and had a discussion with your day ones. Like, I can't leave my day ones. That's your ego talking to you, making you afraid to move on to the next step of your life. Your day ones will be there when you get back to, to visit them. It does, having taken, oh man, Mike, I'm taking my day ones with me. And what are they going to do? Are they trained? Are they successful? Are they motivated to, to do what you do? And then also, most likely, they will be envious of you and be the downfall of you. Check out the book behind me, 48 Laws of Power. Now, everything in that book ain't like rock solid on, but <sighs> hey, friends will bring you down faster than your enemies will over time. And it's usually not due to your friends. It's really due to you not seeing it as a blind spot. So just be careful in that arena. But their ego is what usually will take you down. Now, it takes a mature person. Now, if you got a mature friend and they understand their role, blase, 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 hey, it's all good, right? But if that ego gets involved in any type way, you know what they're telling that friend? Man, you you could do this as good as them. Man, why why is everything, why he got to be in charge? Why can't I be in charge? He's making all these mistakes. I can do this. How many movies has been done with that same premise? Two guys start at the bottom, and then when you get to the top, the, the, the sidekick is tripping, and he figures out something. To bring the guy down happens in ninety uh, percent of the movies that seem like this out there, at least the action movies, and it happens in real life. But you know what we do? We we'll continue to keep doing it without understanding what is the cause of it, and the cause of that, my friends, is the ego. So you need to recognize it, but in order to keep everything in a nice little pretty box, right? The facts. Deal with the facts. Create a measurable, um, a measuring system. You measure production, output, and as best as you can, and then you just deal with that. So therefore, when it comes time for something to come up, say, look, you did X, Y, and Z, or no, you did not do X, Y, and Z. And then take care of the people who are doing what you say that you want done. And they're the ones that are doing it well. Take care of those people. And I'll tell you another thing will tear you down too. Is your day ones that's, that's putting out bare minimum, or let's just say average, and you take care of them better than you take care of your star player that's bringing in the money, right? How long do you think that star player is going to keep doing that and you treating the star player, the star player the same as your day one, but they're not producing on the same level? One's producing here, right? I was producing here. What do you think is going to happen to the star player? He's going to go somewhere or she's going to go somewhere where she's going to get appreciated. And then I'm going to tell y'all something. I'll tell you a secret. All appreciation ain't in money. I mean, it helps, but it's not in money. So just because you pay this person more don't mean they're going to stay. Okay? Remember, Check your ego. Understand the ego. Make your life much simpler. This is your host, CB Baker with Conquer Dreams. Till next time.